Module 5, Maintain Tools and Equipment. At the end of our lesson, these are the three objectives that we need to aim. But before we go through with our lesson, let's have a short pre-test. You need to identify the tools that are being shown. Let's play! What are these tools? You have 5 seconds to answer. Very good! These tools are hammer, screwdriver, wrench, pliers, and pullers. What are the names of each tool? You have 5 seconds to answer. Very good! These tools are electric drill, grinder, and vacuum. Identify the names of these tools. You have 5 seconds to answer. Good job! These tools are air chisel, pneumatic torque wrench, and air bracket. Good job! Nice trying! Now, let's move on to our lesson. Tools are devices that can be used to produce an item or accomplish a task. It can be considered as extension of the human hand, thus it increases speed, power, and accuracy. We have three types of tools. First is the hand tool, second is the machine tool, and third is the pneumatic tool. Let's go first with hand tools. These are tools that are being manipulated by hands without using electrical energy. The first example that we have are the screwdrivers. They are being used to turn the screws. There are two classifications of screwdrivers, which are the single slot head and the cross slot head. We also have hammers. These are most used tools in the shop. They should be creeped at the end of the handle. Next, we have pliers. They are specified types of adjustable wrenches. The two legs move on a pivot so that items of various sizes can be gripped. We have the pullers. They are used to remove gears and hubs from shafts, bushings from blind holes, and cylinder liners from engine blocks. Next is we have the wrench. Wrench is used to turn screws, nuts, and bolts with hexagonal or six-sided heads. A variety of wrenches are used in the shop. Again, these are the five examples of hand tools. We have hammer, screwdriver, wrench, pliers, and pullers. Next, we have machine tools. These tools are manipulated by our hands and with the use of electrical energy. The first example that we have is the electric drill. It has an electric motor that drives a truck. The truck has jaws that can be opened and then closed to grip a drill kit. Next is we have the grinder. It can be either bench-mounted or installed on a pedestal. They may either have a grinding wheel, view wheel, or two grinding wheel. Last, we have the vacuum. It is used for cleaning the floor and car interiors after service. Again, these are the machine tools. We have electric grill, grinder, and vacuum. The last classification of tools that we have are pneumatic tools. These tools or instruments are activated by air pressure. The first example that we have is the air drill. 
It is lighter than a comparable electric grill. Repeatedly staller or overloading does not damage or overheat the air drill. Next is the air chisel. It uses reciprocating motion to drive a cutting hammering tool. Last is the pneumatic torque wrench. This wrench uses compressed air to quickly and powerfully turn nuts, bolts, and other objects. Again, these are the examples of pneumatic tools. We have air chisel, pneumatic torque wrench, and air racket. Now, let's try to have a short exercise. You need to identify each tool if they belong to hand tools, machine tools, and pneumatic tools. You have 30 seconds to answer. Time is up! Right now, let's look for the correct answers. Let's begin with screwdriver. Screwdriver is a hand tool, pliers, hand tool, pneumatic torque wrench, pneumatic tool, hammer, hand tool, electric drill, machine tool. Air chisel is a pneumatic tool, air drill is a pneumatic tool, vacuum is a machine tool, screw is a hand tool, a grinder is a machine tool, and air bracket is a pneumatic tool. Congratulations! Good job for the nice try! Now, let's discuss the method of identifying non-functional tools and equipment. The first method is the visual inspection. This refers to the visual observation of an expert on the appearance of the tools and equipment. Next is the functionality. Vibration or extra noise from the operation means problems with parts and accessories are starting to develop. Next, let's also check the power supply. Failure to meet the required power supply will result in a malfunction. We also need to check the performance. When there is something wrong with the performance of either handles or equipment, they need immediate repair or maintenance. We need to remember that non-functional tools and equipment are those that are not able to perform their regular function because of impaired and damaged parts. Examples of these are the following. Hammer with a broken handle, Long nose pliers with damaged jaw, a screwdriver with a broken handle, a broken foot rule, and electrical equipment with damaged cord. Functional tools and equipment are those that are in good condition and can perform their regular function. These are the examples. A good condition of standard screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, combination pliers, and long nose pliers. To summarize our lesson, we need to remember that there are three types of tools. They are the hand tools, machine tools, and pneumatic tools. The methods of identifying the non-functional tools and equipment are by visual inspection, functionality, performance, power supply, and persons involved. That's all for today. Thank you so much and take care.